hello wonderful people you welcome back to another video if this is your first time on my channel you are welcome stick to this channel it's your boy nick asa in today's video i'm going to show you how to stabilize your ph level the practical way and i'm not going to do that alone i'm doing that with my colleagues so stick to this video grab a drink and let's just dive in All right, guys so this is a demonstration of how to stabilize your ph as you can see we already have a ph system here and there's one thing that i'll show you too while we look at the process first of all you can see this pipe here now this one i'll connect it to where the treated water goes into the tank so this one is going to be connected here and then i will treat the water into this yellow tank so that is what i'll be doing now the question is why will i do that we've already said that we will need to pour our soda ash into the ph tank so that once we put or we uh, switch on the machine our treated water gets into the ph tank and then now we test for the ph so this tank here is going to contain your ph uh, uh, sorry your soda ash light which is diluted with your treated water and then that is what you test for the value okay so this tank here is just going to hold your your soda ash light which is actually trying to reduce or stabilize your ph okay as the treated water goes into the main tank so i'm going to get mine cap that i'll use to fed the soda ash light all right guys so this is mine cap and as you can see it should be very dry it shouldn't have any water or moist in it because if there is water in it and you put it into the soda ash light you are you're going to reduce the effectiveness so always make sure your cup is clean and then dry all right so we are going to fetch two cups of soda ash light and then pour into our ph tank and make sure that your cup is full so this is how full it should be okay i'm trying to fetch my soda ash uh, so uh, so this is how full it should be and even it can get to this uh, volume too uh -huh. so just make sure it's full and then you open your tank and then pour it in then get another cup and then do same and once you are done now i have already mixed okay i have a diluted soda ash light that is already going into the treatment tank uh, so i don't need to add more all right so i'll just put it back and then i'll put my cup now another part or another thing you should know is that now this is a hundred liter tank so we are going to now demonstrate how we're going to get our treated water here and then make sure that the soda ash light that we have added will uh, be equal to the volume okay which is the 100 liters because we are making sure that the water hits the 100 liter mark as is indicated here all right and once we once you do that just don't 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 panic because you'll be testing you have your ph meter so you'll be testing if the uh, ph is stabilized so you don't panic and don't my advice is that don't just be pouring the soda ash light without uh, testing with your ph meter otherwise you may have below or if you may have even more than the ph so let's quickly demonstrate how we get our treated water here okay, so first of all we try and then open this 
aqui. Make sure you, you open it. Now because my hands are, are wet, uh, that is why it's we we'll open it. Okay, you will try and then open this. Okay, make sure that it's opened. And then you just slide this aside. Okay, uh -huh. make sure that you get some room. Then you pick this pipe here. Okay, and you open your your tank. And so this is how you fix it. Make sure that it's it's close to the the tank. Okay. So this is how it's going to be. Make sure your tank is close. You can add, make some adjustments. Okay. Make sure you adjust. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you just just adjust. Okay. And then, so it's going to be like this. Okay. And then you switch on your your machine. Okay. So it's just like they are going to treat water. So this thing will be fasting here. You just make sure you tighten this. Okay. Uh huh. And then you switch on as if you are treating water, okay. And make sure that it's pouring into the tank till it's full to the hundred liter mark here. Uh -huh. Okay. So when you finish, make sure you just disassemble it, okay, because you want to make sure that it is it is flowing into the treated tank. Uh -huh. So bear in mind this is just a pH tank, and uh, then that is your treated tank. So when you finish, you make sure you just assemble this, then make sure it's tight, and then you go about your normal treatment. Now, before the, your normal treatment, you need to switch your pH meter on. So as you can see, this is start and then stop. So when I press here, it will be working now when i press it we stop it and uh, depending on how you want your uh, um, how much how much soda ash light you want to uh, flow through uh, to the the pure that tank you increase the number of of pulses. okay i call it pulse okay you you you'll be hearing some sound like like the, the like your pulse so you can increase the pulse here it's you can increase it to 120 180 depending on how faster you want the soda as like to be pumping through to the uh, that is the, the treated water so that is that is this is what you use that for the plus sign is for increase so you can increase to 50 you can use to 60 70 then the minus sign is to decrease okay so that while you are treating then the PA system is also working. Okay, your soda ice slide is also pumping through this tube. Okay, so you're going to go through this tube. Then it will pass through your pipes, flow through the membrane, then into the tank. So, so that is your PA system. This is a demonstration of what you can do. It's something you can do on your own. Now, this is how you stabilize your ph okay that is if you are not getting the seven that is required so this is how you did but bear in mind that now once you you go through the process you pour your water you pour your uh, soda ash light you have to check to see that is with your ph meter to see if your your ph is seven and so what happens is you if you check here and your ph is not seven then it means you need to add okay and to get the correct or accurate value to you you can check from the treatment tank because that is the final product so the best advice that i'll give or what works usually for me is that when i pour the soda ash light here and i check my ph and it's nine anytime i check the treatment water to i get my seven so it gives me the accurate value 
Uh, so you have to um, check yourself, okay? You have to look at your volume. You have to look at the soda ash line that you are, you are adding, and then you check to be accurate. Yeah, so this is how you make sure that your pH is stabilized. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, so um, this is a practical way of uh, increasing your pH level to 7 if you are not getting it. So this is uh, how it is being done as it has been demonstrated by my colleague here. So if you have any question, you can leave it in the comment section or uh, uh, you can also let us know how you go about yours to increase yours to 7. So see you in my next video.